theatrical life of Louis Wayne stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the titular historical figure, who rose to prominence in the early 19th century for surreal cat paintings that seemed to reflect his declining sanity. This is directed by Will Sharp, who also co-wrote the screenplay, and it hit Amazon Prime last week after a limited theatrical release at the end of October, and it features Benedict Cumberbatch doing what he does best, which is playing someone who's brilliant but at the same time eccentric, like his acclaimed role in Sherlock, though this time considerably more broken. We've seen Louis Wayne thrive as an artist, with his career flourishing throughout the years, all while his mental state deteriorates, and that's something that's exacerbated by the death of his wife, Emily, played by Claire Foy, not too long into their marriage. The sequences of Louis Louis and Emily together take up the first act and are some of the sweetest moments in the film, with Foy and Cumberbatch having some excellent chemistry with one another, and it feels absolutely serene until the bad news is broken. And from there, we get pummeled with so much sadness for the next two thirds, as Louis struggles with mental health issues over the course of decades, and usually these will be shown against some colorful imagery showcasing Louis's work or some of the more surreal aspects of it, like the backgrounds in the real world taking on a painting-like quality, usually as some representation of how he's feeling. Now, now, while there's some nice visual flair to these sequences and Cumberbatch is reliable as always, I was considerably more mixed on the film after the first act. It essentially montages its way through the rest of Louis's life, giving us several moments of sadness before jumping ahead another few years, with some narration by Olivia Coleman linking everything together. It feels almost vignette-like in a way, and less of a journey that we're taking with someone, ultimately suffering from some of the same issues that plague other biopics where it tries cramming a lot into just a short period of time. The only difference here is, at least this looks more visually unique than your standard biopic. And it makes the electrical life of Louis Wayne an okay enough time. It doesn't have quite as much to say on its subject as I would have liked, instead feeling like a series of vignettes highlighting Louis's deteriorating state, but it does have enough moments at work, especially a strong first act, and it does have some solid performances from Benedict Cumberbatch and Claire Foy who make this worth at least a one-time watch. The electrical life of Louis Wayne gets a 6 out of 10. So let me know, did you see The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne, or are you planning to see it end? What were your thoughts? Was this one of your favorite biopics of the year? Was it one of your favorite Benedict Cumberbatch movies? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoy this video, please like it and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.